Well, community theater I really like because it's a big family atmosphere for everybody, not only my own family, but I've made a huge family of friends and circle of friends. And with community theater, you get to try out a lot of things. Like I've played a lot of roles, but I've also done a lot of behind the scenes work. And it's really cool to be a part of a bigger picture. My stepdad, Bill, does a lot of backstage um, work. He stage managed a lot of shows and I've played a lot of roles in the area and he's always been really supportive of me and when Hello Dolly came around it was one of his dream roles and I said you know you just got to go for it try it out and he got it I'm really happy for him and it's really cool to watch him get you know nervous or excited. Yeah normally I'm a backstage kind of guy I do stage managing and tech work and have for about the last 10 years but this time it's a little bit different I'm actually on stage and uh, the family's been really supportive of me as I take on this new journey and of course I've been very supportive of them why they were taking their journey but it's been a family affair ever since we started with this um, when Seth was six years old in the Wizard of Oz and uh, we've just taken off from there and uh, I now get a chance to be on stage with Seth and we're having a time of our life because I can relate to what he's been doing and experiencing and that makes it a lot easier for me to have a conversation with him at the end of the day. And it's a really big family thing and it's really cool to work towards a common goal and there's not a hierarchy, you're all in it for the same picture and you're all equal. And that's what's really cool about community theater. You might be the leader, you might be chorus member number four, but at the end of the day you are all equal to creating that picture on opening night. Community theater has meant so much to our family. It's not only our hobby, it's something we do together, which builds our bonds, but we have found this whole theater family that we have now that, you know, when we think of all the people that are near and dear to us, it's all of our theater friends, and I, I just can't imagine what our life would be like without them. You know, it's not that often that your kids are excited they're doing something with you, so that's kind of a, a really uh, neat thing to be able to, to, to experience. Um, but it's also just kind of fun because it gives us a lot of things to talk about um, and experiences that, that we are sharing for the last six weeks uh, that we all have some input on. It's not like just saying, how was your day at school? So it's been a very different way of spending time with the kids. It's been a great way. Working with my family in community theater, um, we just started out with our 14-year-old Rose, who uh, she was the first one who came to me and said, I want to try this. At the time she wanted to get involved in theater, I was seriously personally thinking there was just not a whole lot for me in Peoria. And I was seriously talking to my husband about maybe we should you know, pick up and move on. After Rose started doing shows and I started doing shows with costuming, our youngest started wanting to do shows and up until now we're up to all five of our family uh, myself my husband and our three children are all now involved in community theater projects and it's been um it's just been it's, it's renewed our our bond as a family it has renewed our bond with our community and our neighbors and our our, our whole city and it's been an incredibly positive experience for all of us and i am having the time of my life when you're working in community theater, you really get to know your family, your kids especially, as they become your friends and you get to see them and, and interact with them on a whole new level. Um, not as a parent, not as a teacher, not as a coach, not as, but more as an equal, more as, a, I mean, it sounds really cheesy, but they're my girlfriends and I see another side of them that I normally probably would never see in any other situation because, they interact with me on a different level and they interact with the people around them on a different level, adults as well as kids their own age. So it's been just a, a really rewarding, um, interesting, fun experience to, to see that side of your kids. And they get to see a side of you, believe me, they get to see a side of you that I don't think in a million years I would normally, you know, but it, it's, it's an atmosphere that makes it very comfortable and it makes it very, um, it's equal. It's just seeing your kids and, and, and seeing them in a whole new light and letting them see you in a whole new light, which is very fun. I have four kids in Hello Dolly. They uh, I have an absolute great time. It's um, time that we spend as a family, but as a group doing something a little different. This, this I'm is Tyler. Picture. This is my brother Elijah. His first year doing a musical, this is my second. He, he's all right. I'm better than him when I just started. He's lying. Well, I really do love all three community theaters, Cornstock, Eastlight, and Peoria Players. But the cool thing and unique thing about Cornstock is that we are outside. Well, 
backstage, it is it is a park, so we have a lot more fun. I mean, we aren't exactly allowed to go play on the swing set during the show, but um, we do get a lot of downtime to do all sorts of things. And also the cool thing about being in the round as a performer is that you can't hide from the audience. You can't turn your back and snap at a character, which is really exciting and nerve wracking, but also really rewarding. So I've been a member of Cornstock Theater Group since 2005 when I did my first onstage production. Uh, but I also helped backstage as well. And three years ago, two years ago, I had the privilege of sitting in that chair right there ramping as we like to call it where you shine the light on the ramp so the actors don't fall and i heard this horrible sounding voice of a poor actor who had totally lost his voice in the middle of a show and uh i guess it was love at first sound because uh, about six months ago i married him and now in 2012 we are in our very first cornstock show together right under the tent over there so, and I have the privilege of singing a love song on stage to another man, not my husband, while my husband's on stage, which is one of the great parts about Cornstock Theater. Something that's really unique about Cornstock Theater is that, you know, as a patron, when you come here, you're in the round. So you're, the, the, the patrons surround the actors. But I, I think maybe what the patrons don't realize is then we have all this tech support that surrounds all of that. We're, we're all out here under this big tent together. So literally it's the, the sound people, the props, the costumes, makeup, everybody. We're all literally the way the proximity, the way it's set up out here, we're all around each other. So it really makes for just an incredible theater experience. So that's what really makes Cornstock unique and just such a wonderful place to play in Peoria.